Hey guys, Joshua Bain Tech. I'm really excited about this review. It's the Sadio Obex case. It is waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. It takes compression really well, and it does not interfere with any of the features of the Galaxy S4, like NFC, Bluetooth, or the IR blaster. So we'll get this unboxed, put on, we'll do some testing, see what we think about it. It comes with this really awesome box set up. Kind of got a nice little care package in here. Got a Sadio decal. Got one of their Sadio ballpoint pens and stylus. Got some paperwork here, advertisement. Got some specs and things like that. So just really cool setup and box. Makes you feel like you're getting something special. And lo and behold, here is the Obex. This particular package comes with the holster, so we'll get that unboxed and set up as well. We'll take a quick look at the holster. Now, Sadia has always impressed me with their holsters. They're always very high quality, very durable, just very good build altogether. It actually adds a lot more protection if you do wear one, so it's just really nice that they have this available for you if you need a belt clip or you like belt clips. It is a ratcheting belt clip. And it's very sturdy as I said and one of the cool things about this is that the clip it's in itself is sturdy but it is also a good size so it's going to fit those nice thick work belts if you have one of those. Here at the top is a spring clip but what's really neat about this is that it has a lock on it. So if you slide it up, it does not move, but if you have it positioned down, it does move. So it's really cool. It gives you that nice sense of security and peace of mind that the uh, phone in the case is not going to fall out. Now the rest of it is just a really good build. Here at the corner is just very nice. Got great protection, so very strong material. One of the best holsters I've seen in the business at all, or industry. Here is the Obex box. Really nice setup. You got like this little preview door here. It's going to give you all the different specs and capabilities of this case and the features. So it's definitely waterproof, impact proof, dust proof, and snow proof. So any climate this thing is going to be really good in. Just take another look around the box. Just some more specs about it and kind of the different layers. Alright, so let's get this open on up and take a look at the case itself. We've got our case, and it kind of gives you some more instructions to open the case, a warning, and the warning is basically you need to perform a water test before you install it. That way you can ensure that the case is not defective. This is another addition that they added to this generation Obex. You get a headphone jack adapter, which is actually waterproof. So if you like to listen to your music, and you'll actually be protected with this because of the waterproof headphone jack. So you can jog and listen to music in the rain. Alright, so let's get this bad boy opened up. And we're just going to do that is basically there's two tabs one at the top and bottom and you get a little one for the headphone jack and then you have a little indention here to where you can fit a coin um, a small key or some kind of tool that you can kind of just pry it open and get it started so just work the way around be gentle with it you don't want to force anything you actually got two tabs on each of the bottom corners. And just put this off to the side. You got a little insert here, which is going to hold all your instructions. It's actually one big piece, so just give special attention to this part. You're going to want to definitely read everything. I'd read it over a couple times, get very familiar with it. There's a lot of information here on the front and on the back. So just take a few moments and do that. 
One of the ways that you can perform a water test is to get a piece of paper, paper towel or tissue, but I like to use paper because there's less lint. So just place it on in there. Then you're going to reinstall the case and basically just line it up and follow the edges. And make sure that you are only pressing the, the edge here, don't press against the screen. And once all that is flush, just click the top and bottoms back into place. And then you're going to be ready for your water test. And the reason why you want to put a piece of paper in there for a water test is that it's actually going to give a good indicator if it's wet, you know that the case is defective, or you didn't install it correctly. So the next step is to submerge this into water for a few minutes. And because it's empty, you're going to have to have something to hold it down in there, or you're going to just hold it in place yourself. So I'll give this five minutes and be right back with you. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, so we'll get this taken out and we're going to get it dried off and take a look and do a little inspection, and then we'll get the phone itself put inside of the Obex. So we'll take a look on the inside. There seems to be no sign of water at all, at least for this part. Let's take a look at the back plate. It's looking good. And we'll take a look at the piece of paper. The paper is dry as a bone. So it passed the water test, so we'll get the phone put in and give it the real test. When you go to install this, a couple recommendations I have for you is to be in a dust-free environment. Make sure there's no dust going on. And if you have a screen protector, you are going to want to take it off. Now I'll leave my screen protector on just before I switch it out with anything else, just so that way it just reduces the chances of any kind of scratches and dust and all that kind of stuff. So that's my personal preference. You don't have to do it that way, but as you can see, there's going to be no dust and no scratches because I've had a screen protector on since day one. So just give a nice close inspection before you install it. So the first step you're going to do is to have the screen guard side facing down on the surface and your home button, line it up with the home button area and then your camera's up here and you're going to place it face down. Now just kind of wiggle it on in there, move it around, kind of make sure that you got it in there nice and flush. And the next step is to take this part and line it up in the respective areas. The easy way to tell is where your camera is located. And start to press it on in again. And just pay special attention because this is the, actually the real part. We're not putting a piece of paper in here anymore so you're definitely going to want to pay close attention and make sure that you're doing everything right. Just go around a couple times pressing this in making sure that everything is installed correctly. Once you get it all pressed in, you're going to close the latches. And I would actually recommend closing the headphone jack part first. Press that on in very securely and press your latches. What I like about what Sadia does with their design is that they have the screens and the filters raised above the screen protector and that's different from what you see against like what your competition is like LifeProof. LifeProof used to get on my nerves when I had the iPhone 4S because there was such a big pocket between the screen filter and the screen so I really like Sadia's design with that. It's completely flush and flat on the screen. There's no kind of air pockets at all. And as you can see, you just got all your cutouts, everything that you need to have a fully functional phone. So with all that said, let's get to the good part and get this thing put in some water. While we have this in some water, I'm going to turn on the camera and just kind of give some more functionality to it. See what we got. I'm going to turn this joker around.
Hey guys, Josh of Bain Tech. All right, let's get this put in. Let's get a countdown. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so you can kind of you see they've got a full functionality. You can see my hand moving around with the camera. Everything seems to be working fine. You can actually snap photos while it's in water. If you have your camera programmed to take a picture, I have mine with the power button. As you can see, I'm taking pictures now. Some you can use your volume rocker. So, all right, so we got this all put in water. It's actually really responsive, even out of the water, still wet. So yeah, as, as you can tell, I can type anything I want and it's still working. So really cool stuff. Power button is actually very functional. It's very easy to press. This is like a rubber type material, so it just works really great with these buttons. And actually, all the buttons are going to work very well. Home button is perfect. It's almost effortless, as if the case wasn't even installed. Volume rocker works perfect. So, all the buttons work really well. Very impressed with how the buttons work. Here at the top, you have a direct cutout for your IR blaster and your microphone. And you also get your headphone jack port here. And this is where your waterproof cable will come on in. To install this jack, you're going to notice a little spot right here, which is just a little lip. So that way these little corners will fit on in. So you're going to want to put this in at an angle and then just twist it on in until it gets all the way flush and where it needs to go. So this makes it waterproof so you can listen to your music through your headphones and your phone is still not going to be affected by water. Down on the bottom you have your cutout for your microphone there as well and if you do ever want to need to charge this you just simply fold back your flap here and hook up your connection. On the back you have special designed camera lens that's not going to interfere with your pictures at all. And so you got to be able to take great pictures, you get take those underwater pictures, have some fun with that. And you also got a direct cutout for your LED light as well. The responsiveness works great. As you can see there's no lag. It's very smooth. The back button works really well along with the menu button as well. It's very responsive. I still feel the haptic feedback. For the sound test, I'm going to play one of my YouTube videos on here. It's got some music that will play and kind of give you an idea if there's any kind of distortion with the sound, and which is one of the major concerns about waterproof cases is the sound quality and how loud or if there's any kind of distortion. So take a listen for yourself and see what you think. Josh of Tech. I've got a Cruiser Lice Experience case for the Galaxy S4. This is a really unique case that they put out for design. It's catered and delivered for the Android enthusiast and especially for the Google stock. So the sound quality doesn't sound that bad at all. There's a tad bit of distortion and you could recognize it more when I started talking in the video. And I'll play it again just so you can hear for yourself. For the Android stock look and feel. So if you're running Google edition ROMs or... But as far as the music goes, it sounded decent. So in my opinion, the sound test is actually pretty good. It's probably the best I've heard for a waterproof case. The next test I like to do is an NFC test to see how if it works or if it interferes at all. So I got an NFC tag here. I'll just place it down and we'll kind of do the process. Obviously I'm going to turn NFC on. 
it is now on and I have a NFC task launcher we'll go ahead and program something and figure out what we want to do for testing purposes we'll do an alarm and we'll go for to set alarm and just hit next just add the task hit complete and there we go it says tag is written successfully so NFC still does work got a notification that a tag was found so NFC works there's no concerns there for NFC the case is actually relatively thin it doesn't add too much bulk which I really like that aspect of it this is already a thin device and I like my device is thin in profile. This is going to fit in and out of your pocket with ease because of the rounded corners and the smooth surface. The edges here are actually reinforced with a grip design so that it's not going to fall out of your hand easily because you have that extra grip protection. You get a great holster that you have the option of getting. It's really simple to put in. It's as easy as that. It's not going to go anywhere. There's no kind of wiggle room at all and you have the option of locking this here at the top so the spring action doesn't even move either so it's just really good great protection great case you're not going to be disappointed in the Sadio Obex for the Galaxy S4 that pretty much does it for this review we went over some installation instructions did a water test did some other tests with the sound NFC and just the overall functionality stay tuned for more reviews I've got some awesome ideas for you guys so be sure to subscribe to this channel Hit that like button if you like this video. Be sure to follow Bantech and Sadio on all the social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. Until then, this is Josh the Bantech. I'll see you in the next video.